right, hi there. Um, <coughs> smiling. They know it's getting feeding time. So um, I already went ahead and made their food over there. But <clears throat> they usually sit and wait for it. Um, baby girl, sit. Good girl. Yeah. So when we got her, she would actually kind of turn around and put her butt to us first. And that's the only way we can pet, pet her. So now she's gotten a lot better. And when we tell her to sit, she actually looks at us. She plays good with the other dogs. Yeah. But they all know the food's sitting up there and ready. All right, sit, baby girl. Good girl. So I just point with two fingers down, tell her to sit. And she sits. Kirby, sit. Sit. That was a kitty. Kirby, sit. Kirby, sit. Good boy, Marley. Good boy, baby girl. Kirby, thank you. And Dixie's sitting. So, kitty's eating the food. Um, I went ahead and cut up carrots in there. Sometimes I cut up carrots. Sometimes I put cooked oatmeal. It's just a little bit of um, good stuff for them. We'll mix it up a little. So, usually put Kirby's food in first. All right, Kerm. Gonna let babe. Good boy. So, um, to feed them their supper and their main meal, I always feed them separate so that I know that each one of them got to eat what they were supposed to eat. And I kicked over the water bowl here <laughs> when we got home. So. She knows to go on in. She sits. Um, I'll go ahead and put her food down. Oh, let me put Dixie's down so I don't spill it. Sorry, baby girl. Dixie, can I let babe? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. All right, so baby girl still sitting and waiting. Good girl. You can really see her white. I gave her a haircut over the weekend. Yeah. So I put her food down. Yeah, good girl. Better and then go ahead and tell her to take a bite. All right, babe So shoot that way we train them to do that so that they're not jumping on you While you're getting the food wet ready and knocking it out of your hands um, The cats are laying around. She's used to cats and playing with them All right, buddy You're up Um, we bought this pool, I guess, for the set before them, and she absolutely loves it. She actually gets in it more than any of ours. Once she gets in it and plays around and splashes, uh, then the other ones will usually join her, but she's usually the first one. If we come back from a walk or anything, she's uh, usually the first one in it. So they all stay in their kennels and eat. We do have a game farm, I call it spin the bottle. I put food in a bottle, which I can show you later. And you won't have to worry about that with not having other dogs. But um, since we have a bunch, or like when we're training ones, like I said, I wanna make sure that they're getting what they want to eat or what they're supposed to eat and that there's no competition between them. But then we put food like say maybe middle of the day or in the evening, I'll put a little bit of food in a plastic bottle and I have spoons in there and then it rattles and they'll sit there and they'll kick the bottle around and the food will fly out and then they'll eat it. But that way it also gets them used to um, go ahead and eating with other dogs so that they don't fight over the food. But like I said, with you having another dog, you won't have a little kitty back there <laughs> um, you won't have that issue at all but we want to do it both where we know that they're getting what they want to eat but yet then they can play with the bottle and have the food out and there is no fighting between them so all right I hope that helps but she should do that for you um, when you get home when she gets home if you guys decide to take her the other thing is like I said the first couple days I you wouldn't have to hand feed her the whole bottle but if you start hand feeding her that builds a really good <clears throat> excuse me relationship 
So like you can, she'll sit down and she'll go ahead. You can take the food away. There's no aggression or anything like that. She doesn't care. Just take the food. Yeah, good girl. Huh? Good girl. But she always looks for permission before she um, goes and gets a bite. All right, you can have a bite, baby girl. <coughs> Excuse me. But we can do the same with the all of them. All of them. <coughs> Here we get mommy food and dicks. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Hmm? No. Hey. Mom's food. Go ahead and sit. Good girl, dicks. Good girl. Huh? Good girl. Yeah. Okay. She used to lay down on all four. She's almost down now. She used to lay down on all four and just eat. But Marley must be finished. Time for a little kitty to get a bite. Yeah, you want a bite? You're getting rained on, huh? All right. So um, I hope that helps on how we feed. But like I said, I would go ahead and hand feed the first couple days. I will bring food. So she'll have the same kind of food. I do mix three or four different kinds of food. I find that, because you'll see on a lot of the golden doodle boards where um, they'll say, oh, my golden doodle won't eat this, or if it eats this, it gets an upset stomach. I have just learned I mix the food. I buy like three bags or four bags of the different types of food, mix it all together in the big trash can and that has really helped with not having a sensitive stomach or if I would happen to run out of a certain type of food or when we go camping, you know, you run out of food or you, if one of them gets into it and eats it all, that way they're used to different types of food in their stomach. I find their stomach is not as sensitive. So I've been doing that probably for the last five years. So I will go ahead and bring a container of that, of what I mix together, and then I will tell you like what kinds that I put in it. But you should be really able to take what I give you, if you guys decide to take her, take what I give you, mix it in with whatever you're gonna feed, and you shouldn't have any upset stomach. I will go ahead and um, bring a few packages of what the vet gave us. He'll come out, bim. Yeah. Oops, sorry. I'm not watching what I'm videotaping. <laughs> so, yep, she gets along good with the cats. Not sure how she'll do with chickens. We don't have chickens, but um, she is good with the other, the other cats and everything. Are you done, Kirby? You're not gonna eat all yours. Oh, good boy. Yeah, come on. But even like with Kirby's, that's left over. Even if I <clears throat> throw it on the floor. They will all take their turn and go ahead and eat it and they eat together and don't fight over it or no barking or growling. So, but that's why we wanted to have it both ways so that they don't fight over it or become food aggression, food aggressive. So I hope that helps and I'll send this your way.